Here it is. Let's keep reading here. Verse number 12. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said, In the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ijalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hasted not to go down about a whole day. So Joshua gathered an entire extra day out of this battle. I mean, one, I can't see at the end of a day of fighting and pursuing why you'd want to keep fighting for a whole other day. I mean, I get it. I know why, right? And, and that's, that's the great, um, the zeal that he had and, and what we should want to have rub off on us because fighting in a battle makes you weary. I, I mean, I don't know if you've ladies ever done this, but guys, probably everyone here I'd imagine has, has done some form of fighting one level or another, wrestling, you know, any type of fighting at all, even if it's not a street fight, but I mean, but just anything that you do like that, you do martial arts or something, you get, you get tired fast. You get tired real fast. Imagine fighting for your life with weapons, maybe, you know, with armor, with swords. I mean, that's a, <laughs> that's, that's a serious workout. It's a, that, that's a lot of, of strength being drained. I mean, at the end of the day, you're probably thinking like, all right, man, let's, you know, yeah, you know, you're, you're excited, you're pumped up, you're winning the battle, but it's like, you got to be getting tired. And, and Joshua's just like, no, we're going to finish this fight. We're going to keep going. Son, we've got too much to do. You know, you stay right there. You stay put. We're going to finish this battle. And they did it. And, and their heart was right. And they're zealous and moving forward. What, what, a great, what a great leader to even come into his heart. And that's what's cool about the way that God works. God didn't tell him to do that. But that came into Joshua's heart to serve the Lord fervently. And he's the one that asked God for that to be done. And God listened to him. He wasn't commanded to tell the, the son to stand still. God wasn't requiring of him to continue fighting for a whole nother day back to back. But it was in his heart to do so. And God, and God liked that. And, and God did that for him. And we got to keep that in mind. Now, I, look, we're not seeing these, these awesome miracles done on a daily basis. It's not happening. It didn't happen in Bible times. We get to read these cool stories because it is unique. It is different. But we also have to remember that, that God is still just as powerful today as he ever has been. And especially as I personally believe we're heading into the end times really quickly. I think that the end times of all times is going to be a time where there's going to be a little bit more of God's power being demonstrated through people who are really on fire and fervent and fighting in that spiritual fight. And as people are being martyred and serving the Lord, I think we're going to see a resurgence of some of the things of God using people to do these great type of acts and doing these, these great types of things. I, I wholeheartedly believe that. I don't see why it wouldn't be like that. Pretty exciting. Pretty exciting just to think about that.